Hi everyone, my name is Megan Stackhouse and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service Office here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And we're back today to talk about the Meteorological Winter Climate Summary for Eastern Utah and Western Colorado. Now, Meteorological Winter includes the months of December, January, and February. So, taking a look at each month individually, the top weather story of the month for December, December 2020 uh, was the December 22nd snow squalls. We had a very strong cold front that moved into the region, which brought snow squalls to portions of northwest and west central Colorado. And with this, uh, these squalls, we had near whiteout conditions with winds gusting to 60 miles an hour up to, and this led, of course, to hazardous travel conditions. And this is a picture that we have um, taken from the Steamboat Strings area of a snow squall approaching and moving through. The top weather story of the month for January 2021 was the January 22nd through 25th winter storm. These were two systems that lifted across the western slope, and with it we saw some significant snow with up to two feet estimated in portions of the southwest San Juan Mountains. The valleys also got in on some of the action with the Grand Junction area receiving, um, or the Grand Valley receiving two to six inches of snow with this system. And finally, the top weather story of the month for February 2021 was the February 13th through 14th winter storm. This is an area of low pressure that lifted across the Four Corners area, and as a result, favored the southern mountains and valleys with the southern valleys, such as Cortez, Durango, and Pagosa Springs. They saw up to six to 12 inches of snow, and portions of the San Juan Mountains saw one to two feet of snow. Um, and the system also produced some snow bands, isolated snow bands, one sitting directly over the city of Montrose, Colorado, and it ended up dumping four to eight inches of snow with locally higher amounts up to 10 inches of snow. Looking at the temperatures for meteorological winter, so those three months, the warmest temperature from those three months was 62 degrees at Canyonlands on February 8th. The uh, coldest high temperature for that three month period was at the Bernal Airport on February 8th of 48 degrees. Grand Junction, our warmest temperature for the season was 58 degrees again on February 8th. Looking at the coldest low temperature for uh, meteorological winter, the coldest temperature recorded during the season was at the Craig Airport on December 30th with negative 22 degrees for a low. The most mild temperature was Montrose on several days uh, throughout the season with a low temperature of five degrees. Grand Junction, our coldest temperature was one degree, um, but otherwise the rest of the climate sites were all sitting in the negative digits for um, their coldest low temperature. Looking at precipitation for uh, meteorological winter, so again, that three month total, the least amount of precipitation fell at the Canyonlands Airport was 0.69 inches, which was over um, an inch below normal for the season. Actually, all 10 of our climate sites ended the season with below normal precipitation, um, but the most amount of precipitation did fall at the Meeker Airport with 2.74 inches of precipitation. Grand Junction, we ended the season with um, exactly one inch, which was 0.17 inches or 0.71 inches below normal for the season. Looking at the drought outlook for meteorological spring or the months of March, April, and May, the drought is expected to persist in eastern Utah and western Colorado. And taking a look at the Climate Prediction Center's three month outlook for again March, April, and May. Um, odds are favoring warmer than normal temperatures across all of eastern Utah and western Colorado with below normal precipitation favored for the region as well for meteorological spring. And that wraps up our meteorological winter climate summary for eastern Utah and western Colorado. As always, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all next season. Bye guys.